This is Twit. And uh, I think we got David uh, back here. Uh, David, in Hollywood, you back yes, on? Uh, hi. Yes, I am. Thank you, Rach, for having me. Um, uh, Mike, I have a quick, quick question. Um, I wanted to download the Spectral Layers Pro, which is uh, uh, advanced audio spectrum editor, and you know to re- repair audio and uh, and I was since I'm checking on this program, uh, I wanted to try out the uh, free trial. So I downloaded the program, and the next thing I know, uh, my computer uh, put out this device error. API was not initialized. And then I did my research, and uh, uh, I found out that I, I was not getting the right answers how to get rid of it or how to initialize it. And I was just wondering if you have any ideas how to, how to go about it. So you uninstalled it, but you're still getting an error. I know. Exactly. And it, what, is this a Mac or a PC? It's a PC. Okay. All right. So what's happening here, it sounds like this program left a little fragment behind somewhere in your operating system. And this happens a lot. Whenever you remove a program, it sometimes leaves little, you know, inklings of itself because whoever coded the program, uh, you know, maybe they missed something or they were a little lazy, whatever it may be, there's something on your system that's still interfering with your system. So program I like, number one, uh, if you didn't use the, the, if the program has an uninstaller, use that. If not, I like should I remove it.com for Windows and see if that finds it. Otherwise, on Mac, I really like clean my Mac and that will uninstall programs with all the stuff. So it kind of finds all little fragments of the program. So again, should I remove it.com? See if that picks it up. It may. And you got to do an uninstall with these programs that gets rid of everything so they're not still affecting your system. Rich DeMuro in for Leo Laporte on The Tech Guy. More of your calls after this.